You're listening to Potty Mouth Radio, the home of movies, music, television, and comedy. Previously on Time to Die. Okay, so I've never been one for lots of thinking. I'm more about the doing. And if my friend Thelonious wants to do things like jumping straight into a big hole, even though he couldn't see the bottom, then why shouldn't he? And if your friend jumps off a bridge or into a big hole, then everyone knows you're supposed to follow them, right? Things did take a weird turn when he confessed on his deathbed that he was actually a cleric. Ew. <sighs> I should probably talk to him about that, but I just need to heal up from the fight with that horrible tumbleweed. I'm feeling a bit rough, actually. Maybe I shouldn't do all that doing after all. Hmm. I'm Paul, and I'm playing Kalana a stunningly beautiful female high elf who is also a rogue. I'm Liz and I'm playing Umlaut, a young half-orc fighter from the Nibblefeet tribe. I'm Dave and I'm playing Falamir Wolfborn, a half-elf wild magic sorcerer. I'm Billy and I'm playing as Thelonious the monk, get it, a nine foot tall 500 pound tiefling who until recently had never left the monastery. I'm Drew and I'm your dungeon master. It's time to die! Where last we had it, <laughs> we had our, uh, our, our monk fall to the ground and get back up because he gets knocked down and he gets back up again. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had Umphot fall to the ground. She, she, she almost died to a tumbleweed. But luckily, Meepo was there. Look, this was ways to go, I think. <laughs> I'm sure we can come up with some. You could have been killed okay. by the mouse. It's okay. You saved, you saved the mouse. And now the, yeah, now we get to find the out mouse's the name is Fing. Is that correct? Fang. I thought it was Fang. Oh, Fang. Fang. That fang makes or more Fang, sense. like, <laughs> go save my Fang. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Spit on the that mouse. Fine. misleading name for a mouse. Hot the mouse's tour. name is Fang. Okay. <laughs> and, okay, so Amlet's going to sit up. She's going to say a cool line, and then she's going to... Look over at this new guy that um, Felony is just making friends with. They were like, who are you? I nearly died for your stupid little thingy, which is cute. He, he looks over at you and he kind of, he kind of bows his head and he kind of, he says, I'm, I am Balsk. Balsk, the, the great Balsk, the hunter. Hey, not I, I am great enough Balsk, to save your own great mouse. leader. And he holds oh, up yeah, the I've totally heard of hand. you. Uh-huh. And he says, then this is, this is Fang. Fang can attest that I am great. Well, I mean, maybe not my talk? cooking. They don't really like, they don't like my cooking. And you just see the mouse is like, it's fucking <laughs> ratatouille. <laughs> okay. Why are you here? Why are any of us here? <laughs> what are you doing uh, down here? He has, uh, he's made his home down here. However, recently his, uh, his pet, his other pet rat mouse has been taken. Uh, he has, he has a uh, fang, but grip, grip has been taken. And he says, he fears that they are doing horrible things experiments on him the goblins that are off in the in the laboratories he he kind of looks to you with longing and help like hopeless eyes he's like will you go find my other my friend okay what? first of all a did you just say rat mouse like mouse rat <laughs> like Parks and Rick, I oh i was myself. waiting for that um <laughs> Couldn't myself. And b aren't you like some great hunter yeah, yeah, do you want to come with us come with us fighter why can't he just find himself oh great one my head hurts. The, I'm not he, he's hurt. really worried. He has to tend to Fang. Fang is a little distressed. Okay. Can yeah, he point yeah, us in the direction of Balak and the tree? And has he seen the adventurers? Oh, he he says that Balak is uh, he, Balak is through through those doors, and he points uh, behind him off to the east. Well, that's convenient. And he says that if you go through those doors, that actually leads to the laboratory. Um, if you want to go, if you can go and help find and get grip back. Uh, he says that Balak is uh, deep in the grove. He tends to the guiltiest tree and he, he carries out foul experiments. Okay. Does he know so, what's behind this door down here and up this way? Yeah, what else is so elsewhere? Up to the north is uh, his kind of home right now. Um, it's where his bed is, his supplies, 
Um, Ooh, bed sounds nice. Supplies. He does say good. that, you know, beyond the doors of the laboratory, the, the grove is, is filled with Bollocks monsters. You know, he says, but where is lieutenants, though? Uh, you'll know them from their bark-like skin. They're under his control. He says he thinks that they came not long ago and they are under Bollocks' spell. Um, he says there, uh, there are ancient shrines found throughout uh, the grove itself. He says he, he said he would be cautious of those. Um, he knows of a shrine to the south. He thinks that it uh, it's somehow enchanted, but he's not sure. He's He's been a little bit fearful to go near it. Um, he mainly tends to his hunting into the Underdark. Well, ask him, tell us about these spectral skeleton things and, and who they are, who do they serve, um, what's this tumbleweed thing? What else can he tell us about the, the denizens of this grove that we should be aware of? So he kind of looks over at the smoldering bits of the of the blight, the prickle blight, and he says, "This is this is one of Balak's creations. It 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 festers and grows from the uh, from the guiltiest tree, which you know Balak tends to. A lot of his creatures, along with the goblins who are now serving him, they roam the groves. They are the they are the inhabitants here." I already don't like the dark, and now you're saying this is under the dark, but it's <laughs> darker, and it's just a lot of dark, and I'm not having a very good time. Well, he says that he he mainly tends to his hunting to the Underdark, which he points back to where his little cave is, and he says that he has an entrance to the Underdark there, but um, he feels that it might be a bit dangerous for you. Okay. What's, um, what, what's in it for us? You want us to go and risk our lives to save a, a mouse when you've already got a perfectly good mouse here. Uh, what's in it for us? Why, sh- why should we risk our lives for this it, 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 superfluous rodent? Clearly, Felomir has no pets. <laughs> yeah. I respect heart. I respect all animals and all life. But Especially sheep. If I'm... If I'm gonna risk, shut up, Claret. If I'm gonna risk my, if I'm gonna no, risk my life, no, he's a monk. Life, and then I wink it. <laughs> if I'm gonna <laughs> risk my life for a mouse, I, you know, what's in it for me? He That's a big that ask. He, he tells you that he will give you everything that is in his worldly possession as far as money, along with super fucking uh, vague. The weapons, the weapons in his storeroom. Up in his uh, up Ooh. in his cave. So can, so can, we, can, can, can we inspect yeah. all of this stuff first? Can to, we go to take gauge the weapons now it? to help us? He says you already seem like great adventurers. I don't think that they would help you at this point now. But yeah, we do seem like hurry. great adventurers. Um, you you put your hand up. If they're I'm not a... going to help us now, what value will they have after we've risked our lives? Uh, d- will a... they suddenly become more valuable at that point? He says they could probably help you against Balak later on. Oh, yeah, I, okay. I nearly died to a tumbleweed, so I, I don't, wouldn't call myself a great adventure. <laughs> I mean, it's having a real crisis. So, it, it's sounding um, to me like he's got something that we will need personality. in the fight against the, the Great Bell End. Maybe we should go get this mouse and, and get whatever this anti-Balak weapon is. Okay. Do we want to go to the south first and see this shrine, or do we want to go up to like his bedroom, or do we just want to, are we just straight away going for it? So I'm not he, very religious. He kind of he kind of hears you discuss that. He urges you, please go and find Grip. I heard they were doing experiments on him. If that is the case, you do not have much time. I'm oh, uh, like we, we are, grip we grip are being weapons. very yeah. very firmly directed. Yeah, let's get let's get Grip. Not let's too subtly it. by the DM All right. that we should go after Grip first. <laughs> let's. And it might be a cool super mouse once it's had All the aboard the Porkmeister Express. <laughs> <laughs> I turn to Umlaut and I say, Umlaut, how would you like to open a door? I just, am I well, going to well, be any good at it? For, uh, does he know? Does uh, this guy know if there's traps, if the door is trapped? He's not certain if the door is trapped, but he has seen, um, you know, creatures come in and out freely. So he doesn't think it's trapped. Am I going to be any good at it? I couldn't even kill a tumbleweed. No, you're going to be great at it, Umlaut. Okay. Um, And Umlaut is like, I mean, the shrine does sound nice. I know I said I wasn't very religious, but obviously. You worship Chode or whatever his name is. Cord. And then I'm going to. Chode. I'm going to be so annoyed that I'm going to slap Falamir around the head and then I'm going to walk over the door to open it. 
Okay. Can I give him one damage? No. I can't. <laughs> if you want to roll for it. No. No, because I will probably end up like giving him 10 damage. This would be like that scene injured. in the gamers where they're trying to knock out one of their party members and they end up exploding him. <laughs> okay, so Amla is going to walk over the door and then she's just going to open it a little bit and peek in and listen in and see if she can hear what's going on or if there's anything on the other side of the door because she's a little bit gun shy at the moment that so she only has like nine hit points or whatever. That's more than Felamy had for the entire game up to this point, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, but like I have nine out of 24, so I'm feeling I still, I've, my head is ringing. <laughs> it was very sore. So yeah, so I peek through the door. You see two rows of dragon carved marble columns march the length of the hall and mostly completely covered in luminescent fungus. The cobbled floor is cracked and stained and on it sit many wooden tables. The contents of the tables, from what you can see, uh, appear to include mortar and pestles, small stools, uh, bowls of some kind. Uh, you can see bits and pieces of the chopped up fungus stalks and other plants. Uh, there are many doors leading off to the left and right of the hall, and uh, some of them seem to be partially open. Bag's not touching Ooh. the stools. Okay. Well, you can't see this, so I'll relay it all to you guys and just be like, look, it's a big science place with lots of science stuff, <laughs> and um, there might be something in there to heal me, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I meant to ask you, random dude whose name I've forgotten. I think it was like Balsack, but not. Balsk. 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 So Balsack without the extra A. <laughs> so um, I am like, can I eat the mu- mushrooms and will they make me feel better? He says you can eat them if you if you would like. But they make me uh, feel the, better. The, the he's second half found, of that question? He's never, he's never found them to be uh, very tasty. Um, so he hasn't really, you know, frequented eating them. Okay. Uh, well, if they're not very tasty, I guess I won't. <laughs> Some minor internal bleeding and death. So um, <laughs> through that door, I can't see anybody right now, right? Like, No, you cannot see, see anybody in the chamber at this moment. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to turn to the others and say, I think the Chamber of Secrets is like <laughs> safe right now. So off you go, and I'll push the door open, and then I'll stand back because I'm a little All bit right. injured. All right, I'll go in. And... Who is also a little bit injured. <laughs> and I'll start by looking at the stuff on, on the tables. You see bowls of uh, different herbs that have been kind of chopped up and torn, maybe muddled a little bit. Uh, again, different bits and pieces of the mushroom stock. Okay. Kind of what I I described for everybody. Can I can I hear anything coming from any of the doors? Like I'm gonna I'm gonna which, roll for perception. Which door would you like to listen to? I'm going to stand with here. With your six. it doesn't matter. He got a six. <laughs> with your six, um, you might be able to hear something, but you're not exactly sure yeah, okay. where it's coming from specifically. So Amalette's curiosity gets the better of her and she's going to start wandering around the room and just sort of randomly poking at things and looking at stuff. And Okay. Doing, can I do like an investigation check to see if uh, she finds anything shiny? Sure, sure. She loves give me, shiny. Give me a nature check. A nature oh. check? Nature. I have a shit nature check. <laughs> uh, I got whatever I got. Um, <laughs> five. I mean, five. You see pieces of leaves, fungus, bark, Powdered roots. You're not sure. This is all very boring and not shiny oh, at God, all. God, then I got a I got a nat one for nature. I yell you out, get a nosebleed. Fal- Falami, <laughs> can you come tell us what all of these stalks and leaves are? Uh, nature's n- yeah, not really my shtick, but sure. Just by being not- raised in the, by wolves. Fourteen. Falamir, you can identify. Um, they are common varieties of trees, shrubs, and funguses, although all of them have a uh, pronounced pallor, uh, as if they've been sun-starved. Like, they've been grown underground. Kind of like if you were to grow uh, asparagus away from the sun, it would be white asparagus. Kinda and you like could that. charge more for it. Exactly. Um, does it still make Can't your pee smell? <laughs> <laughs> it smells like snow. <laughs> Um, these are these are co- common varietals of mushrooms and veg- vegetation. Okay, um, but you'll find that they're slightly pallid in nature. I would suspect because they are sun-starved. I'm not interested in this broken tile. Is there anything around that, or like you know, I just wondered if they like tried to dig something up, or is there blood on it or anything? Uh, no, it's just broken cracked tile. Okay. okay. I get bored and open this door. <laughs> 
Okay. Amla was also getting bored, so she runs over eagerly to see what's in there. All right. I yell at Mouse, you in there? <laughs> when you open the door, are you are you like abruptly you're abruptly opening it, you're just opening the door? I, I I open it, but I stand I don't go into the room, I just peek in. I peer in. Okay. Um, and yell. Let uh-huh! me... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm going to give you a 50-50 shot. Oh, shit. Okay. So, as you open the door, you hear some light snoring, and you see a goblin off in the corner, and he appears to be napping. Does he appear to be a normal a goblin? Huh? Is he a normal-looking goblin, or is he a twisted... Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't look like he's, you know, a rough-and-tumble kind of, like, soldier. He kind of just... I meant more, has he been... Corrupted and twisted yeah, by Bell End into a visage of horror. Oh no no no! He's not like some type of okay. you know Cronenberg thing. I I, <laughs> I I close the door very slowly and I say, "I'm so sorry, mate. Sorry, just go back to sleep." Who was in there? I was, what, what, who were you talking to? He could have just gone and slit his throat goblin. while he was asleep. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Did he have any nice stuff on him, or does he look does he look like he was in prison? Maybe he wanted to get out. Yeah, I just left him sleeping for now. If you want to go check that out, you can do that. Uh, Goblin's <laughs> kind of boring. Kill him in his sleep. You... What else you got? I don't know. How about we open this other door? Oh, we okay. To... <laughs> I was supposed to be back bringing back goblins with us. Are we? Oh, oh to up, back upstairs <clears throat> to the Goblin King. Yeah, to we do... told... Well, Bella feel free, behind. Kalana. You're just standing there. Do something. Uh, All right, I'm, Billy, I'm you as guys you open that door... Leave for the front. You see two goblins. They seem to be uh, mashing some stuff, and they look over, and like one of them is like pouring a bowl, and it's like straining some mashed up liquid into another bowl, and some uh, liquid seems to be drop dripping out of it. And they kind of both just like look at you, like, ah. uh, yeah, Emily will be like, oh, what are you making? Is it yum? They kind of like look at each other, and they drop what they have, and they immediately reach for weapons no oh, and i say you're okay. I, I say we're here from dern dern sent us to bring you back upstairs give me a yeah, diplomacy check out, uh, other way and just see if like... you can see if you can calm things down uh I'm not, doesn't want to fight anyone right now nine <laughs> yeah did, did you want me to do i, I get like plus okay. five on persuasion it just i get plus four on persuasion and i'm still just crap that's probably why you've lied to us this entire time and we've believed you <laughs> I've, i look over at philomir i'm like you might need to get over here so they kind of look at you and they're just like dern <laughs> yes not sure yes. what to make of it dern dern sent us i call for the others i say guys i'm not very good at explaining this can one of you guys tell them about how we spoke to dern and I was like, I'm definitely not good at explaining stuff, and she wanders off. Yep, Dern has asked us to bring you back up after we find the humans that are down here. So we'd like to not fight you unless we have to. Now, are you persuasive? So, Dave, I see your 17 persuasion. What exactly hmm. are your words for these goblins? Oh, I tell them that we are we have been sent to rescue them and, and um, allow them to go back home, Dern sent us and asked, them, asked us to convey them back up. Back home. You're not going to say anything about the adventurers? Oh, we're going to wait and see how they take this first, because they may not want to go home, and before I start allying us with people who are probably enemies to everyone down here. So, one of them, like, kind of, like, reaches down to the bowl where, like, liquid has been dripping into it, and he kind of, like, looks up at you and he he kind of like gently offers it up and he says wine uh, I, I do wine? i do love the grape juice but um <laughs> in, in a minute in a minute um what what do you, what are you doing down here he kind of just like looks at the bowl <laughs> this wine <laughs> Oh, Falamir will be interested in yeah, that. Yeah, you're kind of I people, mate. Falamir is really fucking torn at the moment. Free wine is... Right up your alley? I, I take the wine. I do not imbibe just yet. I say thank you very much. Okay. And I say, um, while we're just chatting over a drink, uh, have you seen um, <laughs> some human adventurers come through here? Um, we're trying to find some um, friends of ours. So they nod and they tell you that 
there with Balak. Ask about the mouse. It, it, and and Balak, we've heard this name, Balak. Uh, tell us of Balak. They tell is, you Balak that, is Balak a nice person? They tell you Balak is scary, and as long as they do what Balak says, Balak leaves them alone, which is why they make wine, and they and they do, you know, what what is asked of them. What, what, what sorts of things does Balak have you do other than make wine? Well, all they know is about making wine. Other people have different jobs. Um, he's, he does explain that, like, in this little confine, you have, um, you have the workers, you have the people running experiments, you have the, you have the boss who reports directly to Balak, and that's kind of like their ebb and flow of the day. Okay, I understand. Um, would would you like to go home? It doesn't sound like a very happy life for you down here if you're constantly afraid of displeasing Balak. He asks you how would you, how would how would he leave? Oh, we can take you back into the other room. There are vines you can climb and go straight back up to Dern. It's literally just over there. Right? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it, it, it's you can almost see it from here. What's keeping you here? Mm, I would imagine very good question. Fear, he, he fearfully says Balak. Well, he's not here. He won't even know. We'll take care of Balak. Yeah. Why don't you head home? Tell Durham we set you free. Okay. They, what about, what um, about the they sleeping leave. guy? Be, be, Should he go too? Before you leave, um, do you know where we might find the human adventurers that uh, came before us? They say in the grove. Where which is, and which, which door is, would which that is be through? beyond? Which is beyond here. They say at the they say at the end of hall. There's another door. Leading oh. deeper into the grove. All right, we're going to have to test every door. These guys are fucking useless. Um, all right, yep, yeah, go home. Is there another door at the end of the hall? Okay. And um, wake up your sleepy friend too and take him home. He's just through there. I don't know what his name is. We didn't wake him up. They nod. They venture off. They go wake right. up their buddy. All right, I'm confident. I'm drinking the wine. Oh. You do that. All right. Well, Amlet comes down I, re- to the end I, of the I resisted as long as I could. My nature took over. Amlet comes down <laughs> to the end of the room oh. and says, what about down here, uh, Thelonious? Do you think we should open one of these doors? I reckon we should open one of these middle doors first because we're still looking for the mouse and one of those end ones mm. is probably the ones that go to the grove. Oh my God, it's taking so long. I, I know, yeah, what's wrong with you people? I was distracted by the wine. One of you should have asked these idiots about the mouse. Uh, okay, <laughs> I stand in the middle of the room and I yell at the top of my lungs, Mouse! Mouse! Grip. How does that work out for you? It's a mouse. What's it going to do? <laughs> Come bounding up. So as, grippy, as grippy, you are grippy. Shouting, as you are shouting mouse, uh, this door opens. And we get murdered. And, uh, and a big goblin comes out. And draws his sword, so everyone can roll initiative now. I'm like, Good. no, yeah, we already, we nice already decided monk. we're not killing things. Let's just kill it. You're supposed oh, to just be yeah. nice to us. No, we're Nine point one four yet again. You really need to fix that. No, I love it. <laughs> Cheetah pants. It's what it made me beat the nine initiative of the fucking tumbleweed. <laughs> well, I beat yours with a ten. Kalana beats you with a 14, and Thelonious beats you with a 12, so well, you still suck. Look at all of you fancy pants. Suck it. Oh, Amlet doesn't want to fight. She's all injured and sore and tired and grumpy. This new, you. This, this new um, level 2 Umlaut is not as good as level 1 Umlaut. <laughs> Umlaut literally fell down a giant hole. Fell? Okay? Fell. 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 <laughs> yeah. If she Let, could just get a little bit of a first. sleep. In theory, both of you should be dead because you went head first, so you would have landed oh, on your heads. First. No, Excellent. I flipped in the air. I'm a, I'm very dexterous. I danced <laughs> in the air. And... I'm imagining the two two like billowing out like a parachute and wafting. <laughs> That's super cute. That's definitely not what happened. <laughs> All right, Meepo did not roll his initiative yet, but he will. Gosh, I keep forgetting Meepo's here. <laughs> hey, Meepo's with you. Where's Erky? Erky's there. there. Yeah, I guess Hopefully he can. staying out of danger to heal of those of us that die to this humongous goblin. Oh, <laughs> we'll be fine. And by that, I mean probably not. <laughs> Sorry, you've got a monk on your side. A monk. We and do? I turn and wink at the loneliness. <laughs> <laughs> the goblin will go first. Awesome. I'm not just backs away and leaves the load standing there by himself. <laughs> well, you can't. He's, he's You're first. You're the target. 
Yeah, no, I was. I was, I was or were you the first one? No, I was there, but I was just. I thought I should move away one just to make it really clear he should hit Thelonious <laughs> and not me. I am the one well, who's screaming. Gonna, mouse. He's gonna step forward and he's gonna take a swing. Miss, miss. At Thelonious, since he was the one who was yelling, oh, an oh. eighteen for four damage. Ah, oh, that puts me down Taking to three. Taking me down to three, and now it is Meepo's turn. Meepo. Saves the day. <laughs> he releases uh, a fireball now, that immediately Meepo kills is the going to, uh, he's going to grab his, uh, his old faithful. He's going to grab his sling. Why? He has a fireball. For a nat 20. Hey. Ooh, look at Meepo on fire. That's why. That's why Meepo yeah, but does that it. That doesn't say how much damage he's actually doing. Yeah, but it's a critical hit. Meepo shouts, Avada Kedavra! And the goblin falls <laughs> down dead. <laughs> <laughs> for uh, six damage, but it's a critical hit, so he's going to do twice that. How's the goblin looking? Uh, he, he took that square in the face. He's not looking good. Blood is rushing down his face, and now it goes to Katana. Or I mean, he's a goblin, so he probably never looked good in the first place. So no. it seems to be he's quite uh, focused there on the beaties, sorry, on Thelonious. Can I shoot him from advantage? Step forward to a spot to shoot him from advantage with my bow? Uh, you could probably move over to this corner, or what do we got? 5, 10, 15, 20. Go Just here? go un under Meepo, you'd still get a clear shot. Yeah, you like, could... I was here. So, what was I here? Well, anyway, not far. You if could... I move to there. If you were to move here. Did that little fuck stick table? get in between? Yep. I've got no <laughs> line of sight now because of that fucking little reptile. Well, now you've got double no line of sight, thanks to me. Jesus He's Christ. tiny. You can see over his head. Right. Also, he point. actually did elf. damage, which is more than saying for you. So I can, <laughs> I can attack with advantage, Drew? Well, you're not going to get attacking with advantage because you're not. no one's flanking him, technically. I feel like the advantage, the, the rogue things in this game are not very helpful. <laughs> very you're already level two. Like, give yourself a... It says that if they're distracted or... Well, I can't bother finding it. Okay, a sneak attack. Exploit a foe's distraction. So... I think you'd need to be behind him, technically. Finesse you, or ranged a weapon, but okay. All right. you, you, were, you were sort of in, generally in front, so he'd be aware of you. That's still oh, you you ping, ping him you in the hit. temple with an arrow. Hey. Nice. Good. Solid. And you, you flung an arrow right into his chest, and he falls over dead. Hey. Oh, didn't Good. even get to do anything. All right. Uh, with him dead, I step over him, and I open the door he came out of, assuming that it's now an empty room. <laughs> <laughs> Assumption. <laughs> Assumption. <laughs> the mother of all fuck ups. And yep. it is an empty room. Is there no mouse in there? All right. The <laughs> north central chamber, it's uh it, it seems to be a place where armor and uh different pieces of equipment uh are either manufactured or possibly being repaired. Is this like The Last of Us where we can go up to the workbench and improve all of our weapons? No. <laughs> can I... Can you guess what I'm playing at the moment? <laughs> can I do a general investigation of the room, see if I find anything? Sure. Uh, even with a nine, I mean, you're going to find uh, pieces of cord, iron needles, leather patches, um, crude uh, kind of like tailoring tools. Okay. I don't know what to do with any of this. As a man of God, I, I don't tailor. Let's Fuck move me. on. Okay, well, I might as well open this door then since you want to do the middle doors. So I do. Hey. So in this door, Ooh! you Hello. see two goblins Ooh, and a rat. Almost, like, almost like taking notes and they're ha they're rat. watching this rat it's that mouse is rat. <laughs> kind of being like restrained and held down on a table. Not cool. Oh. Amalat does not like this and she matches and says, what are you doing? In they're, a very they're intimidating immediately, they're immediately way. startled. They're Give startled. me that crisp rat. They're startled and they look at you. Um, I want to uh, intimidate them into giving me the rat. Can I do that? They kind of, they kind of like shake and they look at you. So they're just like, no, this is, this is it. And this is an experiment. Very important. Balak said so. I don't agree with experiments on animals. I think they're inappropriate. Oh, no, <laughs> like she doesn't know the word inappropriate, but she's just like, well, Balak's decided not that you shouldn't, and he sent me to tell you, and you better give it to me now, or I'll kill your face. And <laughs> I roll a 13 intimidation. Well, let's see here. Unlucky for some. Oh. I mean, yeah, they they believe you. They say, like, 
they they say, well, why, why? It's almost time. It's almost gonna happen. He's, he's already been fed. He's already been fed the seeds. Wait, what's gonna happen? Like we need to see exactly what happens when the seeds are fed to the creatures. Uh-oh. What seeds? <laughs> he kind of like holds a jar and he shakes it a little bit. He's like, these seeds. I'm like, everyone, something's gonna happen. I don't know if it's good. Which Come seeds on. did you give him? You gave him the wrong seeds. I'm like, so he looks at you and he says, like, so we need to stop. Well, wait. What do you think yes. is going to happen to him? Said so we don't know. That's what that's what we're want, trying to find out. That's terrible scientific method. <laughs> like, where's your, where's he, your he control explained, mouse? Said, we were to, we were told to feed the seeds. Okay. Watch what happens. I'm not kind of just like I don't really know what to do. What do you guys think? Should we like take him? Tell them Balak is going to be very displeased with them. They've done the wrong thing. Well, I don't know that that's true. No, I know, neither do I, but I want to Maybe see what they do. Maybe it's going to be great, and it's going to turn into, like, a massive super mouse rat, and it's going to be able to, like, kill... Or it's going to get all it. barky and evil and start killing stuff. Oh, yeah. Not our problem, as long as we get the rat back to yeah. yep. the dude. Let's kill the goblins, take the rat, go back and get well, the we super don't, We don't have to kill the goblins. Kill goblins. They're giving us the rat. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'll say, yep, um, yep. you you don't need to worry. We're going to take over with the experiment now, and I'll make sure I take lots of notes, and I come back and tell you, but you give me the... Right, so he, right now. So he kind of looks at you and he says, so stop experiment. Yes. Balak says stop. Yes. And he kind of looks at the other guy and he looks back and you see there's a pedestal with a jar on top in the corner here. And he says, well, if stop, if stop, then we vial. And he walks over and he takes the vial and he kind of hands it to you and he said, feed. Okay, this decision making is really outside of Umlaut's comfort zone. So she's just like looking at the others, being like, "I don't know what to do. Someone help me!" All right, let it, well, let's take the seed, take the jar of seed, take the seeds take, anyway. We no, who take knows the what vial. They are. There's some sort of vial that I'm supposed take everything. to feed the rat. Take everything. Kill the goblins. Salt the earth. Okay, so I want to take the seeds, the vial, and the rat, <laughs> and turn to everyone and say, "I think we're meant to feed the vial to the rat." Not doing that. Goblins, off you go. Can we take? But don't do don't go to Balak and go? don't go. They're no, going to go to Balak and tell him, give him a heads up that we're here. They can just uh-huh. stay there and experiment on we themselves. Watch him go the right way, and if they don't go the right uh, way, yeah. then we can go back. Go so back you, to Dern. So you tell him you tell him to leave. Yeah, yep. go to tell Dern. Go go, tell him to go, to, yeah, wait, Dern sent us to free you from your your, your well, horrible that's situation. Two, that's two different instructions. If you're telling him to leave or go back to Dern. Yeah, I just look at you guys and I'm like, I think we want you to go back to Dern. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we tell them to go back to Dern. Well done, Umlaut. Yes. And okay. then I want okay. to take the vial, the seeds. So now and the they're rat, now they're confused because you just told them that Balak told them to stop the experiment. So I need a persuasion from you then. Oh, right, Crap. yes. From who? From me? Yeah, but Balak said that you are not doing a good job and he's sick of you and you should go home. That's my persuasion. And let's see how that goes down. Oh crap. Oh, ha ha nineteen. Oh, they they believe they believe that and they, they, they're almost fearful. They, they kind of look at each other and say, apologize, 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 apologize. And they run past you and they disappear right. behind this oh, door. Oh, crap. So they're going to Balak. <sighs> you really shouldn't have left this to me, guys. I was trying to tell you, but now I've got this file. We didn't and leave it to you. Umlaut went galloping in as his umlauts want. We we're not going to creep up on the big bad of the whole game anyway, so of the whole <laughs> module, so it's fine. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get the rat back to... Its owner and so, benefit yeah. from whatever he can give us. Get the I giant. Take all three things back to him and say, "Here is your rat that's eaten the seeds that are in this trident jar. of trident of Balak destruction plus nine. And he might want to eat this vial, the stuff in this vial, but I don't know. And it's your decision now. Okay. So upon giving him that, he takes the vial and he feeds it to the mouse, to which then the mouse kind of convulses a little bit, and he vomits up this seed which looks like it had started to sprout inside him yeah uh, okay like, and the the little kind of like out. veins did did he use you know, all of the, the vial yeah he he, he, he like dumped it he dumped it down just, if any of us get captured and force fed seeds it would have been handy to have a vial <laughs> of seed extraction I'm uh, um, then to Cephalomir and it's just like, maybe there's more vials in that room because it was lots of science mm. nerdy stuff. We could go yeah, look Yeah, indeed. We, sh- we should definitely look on the way back. Cool. Um, but meanwhile, uh, whatever the fuck your name was, Ballsack, give us the super weapons. I love that sticking. 
Bolsk. Is he Russian? Okay, Bolsk. So, Bolsk. So, Bolsk. So I have so I have a I have a very funny thing to share. So the character's legitimate name in the module, which I changed purposely because I'm so tired of this happening every single time. Was the character's Bolsak? actual name is Balsag. <laughs> <laughs> and I changed it to Bals because I'm like, I'm tired of people like being fine. You, you didn't think you, could, you wanted to change it more and than then, removing then, one vowel? Like, right, you Balsak. did not account for Umlaut's ability to be five. <laughs> Without fail, once again, Balsack is what he is referred to. <laughs> yeah, as well, to, be fair, to be fair, Drew, you removed a vowel. Times. You removed a vowel. You, you didn't change ball sag to no, Simon. It's it literally B A L S A G. So it's like ball sag. But everyone <laughs> somehow refers to him as ball sag. You could have changed it to anything in the world, any combination of letters, and Steve. you change it to ball sag. His name could have been Steve. <laughs> sure. Steve. I just I find it hilarious that it. My name is Ballsag, again. but you can call me Nigel. <laughs> <laughs> it's worse. No one wants to be called Nigel. <laughs> Some bloody I just, I find Nigel. that funny that that happened again. Okay. So he uh, he's more than happy to pay you, like he Good. said he would. Damn right. Um, <laughs> damn. Okay. We've so now rescued he, two mice. Two. He gives he gives you money. Which are part of like all of his worldly possession your possessions. I feel a bit bad taking all of his money. I don't. How many monies do I get? <laughs> <laughs> How much monies? Okay, so he will wander off into the cave and he will pay you guys. He pays you two hundred and forty one silver pieces. However you yeah. want to divide that amongst yourselves. I'll I'll 50, just pop that in here. Fifty four sure, gold it. pieces. Erky declines taking any money. Yeah, uh, Felomir, I would like my share, please. We'll divvy it up later on. No, I want my share right now. (laughs) Because I want to give it back to him because I feel bad. No share for you. Um, You mentioned silver. Was there any further wonderful monies? 241 silver pieces and and 50 fair gold pieces. Uh, I'm not wants to hold my dagger to Felomir's throat and say, I want my shear. <laughs> now, please. Get him in the eyes. Um, too late. It's already in my sack. I've already added it to the number. It, you can't undo that. It's against the rules. I might say you will regret this. I make you the solemn, All right, the solemn vow right now. This, this, it will be split up. No, but I can't give it back to him later. So I no, no, it's gonna... not not split up with him. We Tree rescued bird. his mouse. This is our payment. This <laughs> no, was this is my choice. I don't like taking money. That's all right. You'll regret it. I will remember <sighs> this. Uh, he offers you the ability to pick amongst the weapons that he has when he goes on his hunts, which are two spears, six javelins, one long sword, and one great sword. Yeah, I think As this monk, might be time to use whip out my... This might be time to whip out my shiny new detect magic spell to see if any of these appear to be particularly sparkly. That sure. sounds good. Yeah, why not? There's no... I mean, don't be, feel, I mean, if anyone wants to take a grimy, unmagic, regular old javelin, but it would be nice to know if one of these is the one that supposedly will help us against Balak. Yep. Um, uh, you can definitely detect uh, some magic. Okay. Um, uh, are, are the weapons here, or do we need to vi- go down this cave to find no, them? Nothing, nothing like in front of you uh, oh, okay. is radiating magic from those weapons. Okay. But, but the weapon, the weapons are here in in this area. Yeah. They're not mm-hmm. all the way down here somewhere. No, 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 no. If if you are pointing in that direction, he does uh, address you and say that that is uh, leading to the underdark where he goes and he hunts. Oh, okay. So I say to him, and which of these weapons is the one that you think will aid us against Balak? I swear to God, guys, if he says, oh, all weapons have value, I'm going to fucking gut him. Well, now I need to change what I was going to respond. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, like, whatever your, whatever your, uh, you know, your choice, if you are, if you can use it wisely. I, I just got to say, he's no not, one else he's not is a rich man who simply offered. He gave you all of his money. No one else is in the room with me. I can cast Thunder Wave and eviscerate this guy and not damage any of my party. But I hear it. You want to do that? 
<laughs> I'm I'm a bit annoyed that we risked our lives to rescue a mouse for. Well, I suppose there was a bit of gold and silver. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Come on, come on, Falamir. Yeah. Fuck me. Simmer I'm down. Cu- simmer down. Yeah. Whatever. Fuck you, Ballsack. All right. He's fucking useless. All right. Well, oh my God. What I we... don't want any of his crap. Help yourself, guys, if you want any of his mouldy old spears. What do we do? Shall we continue to search for the grove? I wonder if we take a bit of yeah. a rest. Oh, that might not be a bad idea. Yeah, okay. it might not be a long I'm, rest, I'm full but health, but rest. if you guys want to have a sleep, I'll keep watching. This guy, oh, that, that, full this guy that Dave didn't kill, can we ask him if we can borrow his bed? <laughs> can we just camp out here for a night? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He says that you are more than welcome to camp out here. He will gladly keep watch and make sure no one hurts, uh, you know, the savior of his best friends. And he kind of holds up the two mice. Excellent. Yeah. I ask him if there's anything interesting in the under dark or whatever it's called. Is there any value in us having a look down there? Would we find anything useful? He says the under dark is a very dangerous place. He he doesn't know if it would be advisable to go to the under dark. Yeah, this guy and two mice seem to do all right. I don't know how dangerous it could be, but sure, it doesn't sound like there's anything of value. But all it right. sounds very dark. I don't think let's, I want to go there. Let's have a. You guys have a sleep. I'll keep watch. I don't need to sleep. I'm full health, and I don't have spell slots, so I don't need to recharge anything. All right, all right. So um, then you guys, as you guys go to sleep, you kind of almost have this like white noise in the background, and really, it's just the it's the skeletons in the other room, kind of just raking and tending to the uh, the fungus garden. Oh, nothing more peaceful than skeletons raking fungus. I actually, before I go to sleep, I want to be grab um, Thelonious and I want to take him off to like a quiet Ooh. corner to chat. Okay, Hello. Okay. If I can do that. All right. But you guys might be like, oh, they're getting things. But I'm just going to be like, so Thelonious. Thelonious, Thelonious is, I'm a monk. <laughs> I've, I've, I've sworn off this sort of thing. <laughs> I'm just like, I just want to, I just want to, he can tell me a bedtime story. And then I will take your yeah, There once was a monk who wasn't a monk. <laughs> and I want to say, Thelonious, you told me a thingy and it was seems like a big deal. And um, uh, what is no, going I was, on? I was delirious. I was on the verge of unconsciousness. I was nearly dying. I didn't know what I was saying. Of course I'm a monk. Why would okay, I worry about that? Okay, sneaks a look at his character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> and you would see the words life domain cleric too. <laughs> I, I believe Thelonious needs to roll for persuasion. <laughs> Yeah, actually, can we do like a contested persuasion or something? What would I roll? Yeah, to... uh, let's, let's yeah do it. sure. Yeah, no, no, no. You need to give me uh, like that uh, deception check, and you would need to give me an opposing. Uh, Is it like a insight. wisdom saving throw? Oh, no, 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 no. And so I need to do so a deception. Uh, so you, Billy, needs to do a deception, and then Liz needs to do an insight. Yeah, uh, I fool her. Yes, I mean, yeah, I got eight insight to eleven deception. <laughs> you believe him? He was he was delirious from on the brink of death. I'm like, okay, so yeah, I'm not like, oh, that seems like a really weird lie. Are you okay? Is there a reason that you would lie to me like that and say that you were a cleric when you're really a monk? Look, as a man of God, you know, when I was on the verge <laughs> of death, it was I like speaking to in lie. tongues. I didn't know what I was saying. <laughs> Maybe you want to be a cleric deep down in your heart. Look, cleric sucks, so I don't think so. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that is true. <laughs> so, fair enough. Okay, well, that's all right then. Now, um, oh, what a great oh, bedtime geez. story, Thelonious. That was great. And it re- now I feel very sleepy. 99. I'm, look at, I'm, I'm looking at my sleep. plus five deception Odd. and persuasion on my sheet and going, geez, I wish I'd jumped yeah, down the shaft instead of all my that conversation. All right. Does anything happen when we wake up, Drew, or is everything just fine? Uh, no, no. You you guys have your eight hours of rest, if you would like. Okay, so Omelette takes a nice long rest uh, alongside the rest of you, I assume, and wakes up and is just, like, feeling really chipper, and she's got all her perkiness back and excitement about fighting and all of that. She's feeling a lot better. So she's like, okay, guys, should we, should we go do fun things? You want to open a door? It's time to find these humans... All right, this bell end. Yoink! Let's go back in through the lab. And which of these two doors at the end do you want to open? Yes. Um, Amouch looks at the two doors, looks at the others. Oh, actually, probably the one. Yeah, the one that they ran off through when they went to go to. Yeah, which way they run? Yeah, they They went went north, north, didn't they? Do we want to do the south 
the south door, which presumably then is just another room, no. just to Fuck clear it, it out. No, let's go straight north to the grove. <laughs> yeah, Omla looks determined and says, let's get this bell end. This could be and 50 off. health potions and a bloody spell book of Balak decapitation in the room for all we know. No one's stopping you looking by yourself. I'm going to look through this door. Okay. Good. And everybody else is going through the door to the north? Yeah. Oh, I'm yep. keeping an eye on Falamir. Thank you. Oh, we're okay, splitting someone. the parties. Can we open well, the doors no, at the same time? Well, no, you're splitting the party. Kalana let's open, is... Let's open the not. doors at the same time. Oh, there's an end point. Three. And then, and then duck out of the way and the two monsters that come in can fight one another. Okay, three, <laughs> two, one, open. Open. <laughs> All right, so Dave, are you are you just opening the door or are you actually going through the door? I'm going to open the door and look in. I'm not going to go gallivanting through. No, no, what you should do, away. Dave, you is you should take three, a, about 20 feet backward steps and then run and dive through the door. <laughs> <opening>. <laughs> Somersaulting through the 9,000 tumbleweeds. Well, you both open the doors, and they both give you a look-see inside. However, Dave, looking through your door, you can actually see it go a little bit beyond the confines of the room and what seems to be an opening to a tunnel. Mm. Not yours, looking into this room, it doesn't seem anything more but storage, but then there is another door off to the right-hand side. So another door for Umla My room's and more interesting. <laughs> more Dave. doors, just what I always dreamed of. <laughs> DM, you gotta let us know. Down the tunnel, should we go? Or if you say the storeroom's best, we will probably hit there next. So DM, will you be nice? Or will you make us roll the dice? Okay, so while we're stuck at this exciting little cliffhanger and trying to figure out which way we want to go, the show's going to take a little break. But don't worry, we will be back in a couple of weeks. Make sure you're following us on whatever your preferred platform is so that you get a heads up as soon as the next episode is out. Thanks for listening to Time to Die. If you want to get in touch with us, you can do that at pottymouthradio.com or pottymouthradio at gmail.com or on all the socials at pottymouthradio.com.